Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Kenny Jang. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. We have with us the one and only, as I said to him, the Matt Adair. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing well. I know that that's not true because somebody out there actually is over in the UK owns MattAdair.com. And so <laughs> I know I'm not the, so I don't get the definitive article. But yes, I am Matt Adair. So let's get right into it. Let's tell a little bit about who you are, what you do, um, and all the many hats that you are juggling these days, Matt. Yeah, so for the last 12 years, I've been the lead pastor of Christ Community Church here in Athens. Uh, replanted it back in 2004. We had about 30 people. Uh, by God's grace, uh, it's grown. Uh, we're not a mega church by any means. I would say we're a church of, of hundreds, not thousands. Um, so I resonate a lot with the Propel community. Uh, for the last four years, I've been bivocational. Uh, I spent two years as the North American director for the Acts 29 Church Planning Network, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then two years ago started uh, Gridiron Solutions, which is a company that exists to help church leaders make the most out of all that God's given them. So we, we help churches, uh, we help preachers with their preaching, we help churches develop uh, leadership pipelines, uh, help church leaders uh, just work on their productivity and uh, their own personal performance. And uh, so having a lot of fun. So yeah, juggling a, a, you know some things. Uh, got a family here. I've uh, been married to Lindsay for almost 19 years and have three boys, 12, eight, and five. And so we're having a good time. Tell us a little bit more about all the things that you've done prior to Christ Community. Yeah, so, um, you know, really went to graduate school, just thought that I would be uh, a preacher, thought the world was ready to hear me preach, uh, thought that I would be writing lots of books on theology and speaking on theology because uh, I think the scriptures and the application of that matter, and I've just found really, I think, as, as I got out of my 20s, became a lead pastor here when I was 28, I'm now 41, kind of in my 30s, really just found that I think God has wired me in a unique way to be able to sit across the table or a video screen with somebody and help them just get clarity on where they are. Uh, and so I find myself operating more in the world of systems, structures, processes, frameworks. What's the subject area category that you're going to be teaching on? Yeah, so he asked me to, to jump in and talk about discipleship, which is great. I think it is, you know, our mission as the church, regardless of your denominational background or theological striping, um, that, that's what we're called to do is to help people follow Jesus. And so he asked me to talk on that. What's the title of your talk? Uh, how to turn your church into a discipleship machine. And uh, when I saw it, I can't remember uh, calling it that. I'm sure I did. Um, and it's easy enough because we talked about the systems and structures necessary uh, to help any church uh, make sure anybody in the church can follow Jesus. Um, and without giving away the punchlines, can you share a little bit about this discipleship making machine that you are going to talk about in the Propel Conference coming up? Oh, I, I think the thing that every church has to, to figure out is, you know, what what can we do well? And I think one of the mistakes that we think in our church is that we have to do everything well. And so finding out some very simple, basic ways that you can essentially help people live out what Jesus told us to do, which is love God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself with the gospel at the at kind of as the drivetrain in front of that, because we'll, we're never going to love Jesus with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and we're never going to love our neighbor as ourselves. So as we strive to that in response to God's love for us, how does the gospel really open up our lives to that? And so how do you teach people to do that? So how do you help people both personally and corporately in very clear, simple ways um, have an opportunity to follow Jesus? So for me, discipleship is something that is not just simply for the special forces in your church. Every single person who would identify as a follower of Jesus is a disciple. So your core discipleship practice has to be accessible to everybody. And if that means that your your kids are making professions of faith, then it has to go all the way down into your kids' ministry. It. Um, so it simply can't be for your PhDs and the people who are just looking to read another thick theology book. I think what, what was important for us, because we really do cross over some real cultural lines from university students to um, kind of uh, people who are coming back to their faith um, and, and all the way out to the suburbs where people just consider themselves Christian because they wake up in the morning. And so what we just said is a very simple strategy of we want our groups to connect relationally and grow spiritually. And we do leave latitude to our group leaders. Some of them do talk about the sermon. Uh, some of them, uh, like right now, we're working with the group that I'm leading. We're, we're reading a book called Designing Your Life on Vocational Development because we want to help everybody integrate faith uh, and work together. Um, so there's some latitude there, and I think the, the team that really runs our groups has done a, a good job to try to help resource our leaders so they can really have a good sense of who's in their group 
and how we can best serve them in these areas that we're talking about. I mean, we have a very simple kind of three, three-pronged approach to discipleship, and we just try to help our leaders work out of that. Are you going to be on social media during the conference? I know that we are promoting the hashtag Propel17 on February 1st. Sure, yeah. So I'm on Twitter at Matt Adair, um, and I'll kind of be dipping in and out during the day. Looking forward to it. I think it's a great conference. Uh, really honored to be able to do it for my second year, and uh, love what Justin and his team are doing. And can't wait and uh, hope that everybody that is watching this, uh, if you're not registered, get on there and uh, be a part of it because I know it's going to help you and your team. Nice. And then people who want to get directly in touch with you and Gridiron, what's the best way to learn more about what you do in terms of resources and supporting other ministries across the country? Yeah, certainly. Uh, probably Twitter. Uh, I'm just Matt, at Matt Adair is an easy way to connect with me. You can also go to gridiron.com. That's two Ds. Um, and uh, just jump on there and you can see kind of some of the programs that we offer uh, just to help uh, preachers with their preaching and their own personal development and to help churches with their leadership development as well. Well, thanks for jumping on the interweb for me today. Um, and I hope to chat with you more in person uh, on February 1st. Have a great. Thanks, Kenny. See you.